Are you guys okay with yourself not doing anything? Like, with mm. the time that you don't do anything. Yeah. yeah. Don't you ever feel guilty, let's say, when you don't know what to do? Yeah. You don't have work? Or so you don't know what to do or and for you um, when you feel like you gotta do study or you gotta figure something out but then you don't know what to do yes it's kind of like because I'm used to always studying or always doing schoolwork so when I'm not doing schoolwork it's like I feel like I should be doing something or mm. being productive in some way so if it's even if it, even if I'm being productive but it's not school related I, I feel kind of guilty because it's like uh, I should be studying I should be doing schoolwork but even if I've done everything possible for school, I feel like there's always something more I can do. Well, for a Korean person as a local student back in the days, I would feel pressure because I would have to compare the uh, ranks of the oh, test yeah. result and everything. Yeah. But then on one occasion in US, you would have to put pressure on yourself because of what? I'm curious. Mm, I don't know. That, yeah, that's a really good question. Probably when it comes to, I think, like, students that are in the same major as me. Mm. So back in the States, I'm studying biology, but I'm switching to public health. And mm. um, there are a lot of, like, students that I know who want to be doctors or who want to go into the medical field. And so there's always, like, an unspoken sense of competition between each other, not mm. so much a lot of supporting each other. Oh. Um, for me and other people that I know who are pre-med students, they talk a lot about like what internships they're getting or what doctors they're shadowing over the summer or oh. what, what hospitals will be working in and types of volunteering that, that they're doing. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's an unspoken sense of, you know, like, oh, I'm, I'm better than you because this is what I'm doing or this is who oh, really? I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a hip-hop competition. Almost. Yeah, almost. Well, Just do you yeah, think that's yeah, a university-specific yeah. environment rather than high school? I would say yes, but I know for I know for me personally that that's what it's like because in high school it wasn't really like that, or at least the high school I went to wasn't really like that. But once I got into university, and I was around different people from different you know backgrounds and walks of life. I noticed that there was definitely that. It like it was a completely different I guess ball game compared to being in high school. There's a lot more pressure because those four to five years of your undergrad determine where you'll be you know in the next 10, 15, 20 years. Mm. So there's like there's a lot riding on those four to five years of your college education are you also brought up in u.s yeah oh because you were like mm, mm, mm. <laughs> as, as she was talking like you know you know what she means yeah so, uh i was born here but i grew up in america you did yeah so i moved before i was one and then i moved back here four years ago then how did you feel going through the education there uh and, and competition um, so I did the whole like stereotypical Asian kind of, mm. you know, try to be the highest in your class. Oh, like, <laughs> what? Like, high what? The highest in your class. Uh, highest like, in your class. Like, mm. like, oh. like B's aren't good enough. It always has mm. to be A's. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> and then I got into honors. I skipped grades for certain uh, like subjects and stuff like that. And then after I just, I stopped putting pressure on myself because I was just kind of like, I had kind of like a thought where I'm like, am I doing this for me or am I doing this because my parents told me to? Likewise. Mm. And I'm just kind of like, I'm also a person. I'm more than just what my accomplishments are or what I am on paper. Like, and then from there, I started to not feel as much pressure. Mm. So it's sometimes people will appreciate you not because of your grades or what you accomplish or what's on your resume. But once they actually meet you in person, that's why you don't just hire someone based off of their resume. You interview them and see what they're like as a person. Yeah. We just Come talked about this yesterday, too. That's yeah. crazy. Oh. <laughs> so for me, I took the time when I stopped feeling the competition to just kind of more so work on myself as a person. Mm. And then once I became more grounded with myself as a person, I just didn't feel the need to prove myself. It's mm. just who I am speaks more than what I accomplish. Mm. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. I feel like I watched a TV series just now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then what brought you guys to Korea? Uh, well, I'm studying at Yonsei Dehakyo for the semester. So it's my third time in Korea, but my first time being here by myself long term. Back where I'm from, so I'm from California, LA-ish. It's not the 
best environment growing up there. Like, really? Yeah. It's mm. it could be a very toxic environment if you get surrounded by the wrong people. Oh. So for me, I who can be wrong people? Uh. Some of them aren't here anymore. Some of them we won't see. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Are they also like Korean people? Some Korean, some not. Ah, uh, some Korean, some but, not. But um, for me, being around that environment, I saw how it affected me. Uh huh. And it's almost like PTSD. Oh, really? Being around there, because you can't. You can't just. What did you have to go through? Did, yeah. A lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so but, yeah. Yeah, but when I came here for the first time as an adult, I guess like the toxic traits that are kind of given in that environment aren't here. Oh, really? So I didn't. It it made me feel so much more at peace, and I was just like, whoa, I like this. To some people, this is their reality. My reality, up until I came here, I didn't know that this type of life existed, where I can just go to the store and like. Nothing's gonna happen to and me. And you're literally talking about what is just too normal to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. For me, I'm uh. just whoa. I can go to the store. I can wear certain kinds of clothes, like uh. certain colors, and like this and this and that, and not have to worry. I don't have to look over my shoulder every time I'm walking uh. and stuff like that. Uh. Like, and also get to know where my parents come from. Like, mm. like, cause I want to know what makes them them. And why they chose to leave, or in certain sense, but and build a new life in America. But when I came here, I was just like, "Why would you leave?" Like I, I like this because it felt like I was finding a part of myself that I didn't know I needed. Because me, as a Korean, Korean American, like in America, I'm not American, but also in Korea, I'm not Korean. But I know American culture well enough to well enough to know where I stand. Versus here, I still have to learn more. Mm. Where I have to find my roots. What makes my parents act certain ways, or what, why they believe certain things, or have these certain like customs and stuff that I didn't understand as an American. But now I'm here. I'm like, oh, I get it now. So in a sense, it was kind of like soul searching. And like, so interesting. No pun intended. Yeah. Soul. 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 <laughs> Well, thanks for the talk. Yeah, of course. This talk was long enough, so yeah. <laughs> I, I hope I hope I'll be able to talk to you guys next time yeah, as well. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. You're welcome. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.